Hi, Zach. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. And as you know, uh, Steca is in Spanish, so my interview is going to be in Spanish. Perfect. Um, good. Okay. So. Or perfecto. Sí, We're sí. doing good. Yo hablo poquito. Oh, perfecto. Platícame un poquito de la película. ¿Cómo te sientes con tu papel y todo? Más lento, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'll do it in English for you. Uh, tell me a little about the movie. Uh, How is it different for the first movie? Well, the first one, so it's the same concept, this concept of the purge night where one night a year all crime is legal. And the first one took place in a home. It was kind of an in home invasion movie, and it felt very claustrophobic. This one goes out on the streets where you don't, you know, there's no safety anywhere, and you're just trying to survive the night, and uh, you don't know what's around every corner, you don't know where to go. Um, and it's kind of just like a war zone out there, so it's much more opened up and much more chaotic than the first one. So the people are going to expect more, being more scared, more suspense than the first one? I think there is a little bit more. Um, it still ha oddly, it has this claustrophobic feeling still, but um, you know, anything could happen. And, the, and the, the stakes keep getting raised and raised, and the situation gets crazier and crazier as the movie goes on. And I know uh, the wife is your wife in real life. Yeah, she is my esposa. <laughs> You see, I love this. We should probably change in a minute to Spanish. Okay. Uh, tell me, because we know the outcome. I mean, people don't know the outcome of what happens with you and your wife. How did you feel about it? And you think it was right? <laughs> do I think it was right? I mean, what do you think about your outcome as well? Because people have like a feeling for your wife during the whole movie that is not, as we know, they're going to like her as much as we think. Uh, yeah, you know, at the beginning of the movie, we're separating. And it's, I think it's kind of a cool situation for this movie because the way we wanted to play it was it wasn't that we don't love each other anymore or anything like that. It just wasn't working. Um, and, but thrown into this crazy theme where, you, you know, it is life and death and you have to think about what really matters to you. I think we both come to realize that we can get through all the, the crap that's going on in real life if we can get through this and we want to stay together. Ultimately, if we get to or not, I don't know. We'll see. Do you think it's more scary than, I know you've done other uh, scary movies as well, mm. more horror. How is this different from those ones and what should people expect from this than the other movies? I think this one's more, this movie is more of a thriller, you know, and it's actually a lot more high concept than I think people expect at face value. You know, you think it's just this movie where people can go kill whoever they want, it's this violent theme, but really it's kind of talking about the concept that, you know, comes to light in this movie that, the purge was really set up to purge the lower class and lower economic people um, from the country. So it's that concept of the rich get richer and the upper 1% only looking out for themselves. And it's really a comment on, you know, so many policies we have now kind of do that in a much less violent sense. And in the movie, uh, we see a lot of action running around and hiding and all that. Was there a lot of action like when you were filming it? Yeah, I mean, we had to do all of that. And uh, it's funny because it's actually kind of a hard shoot in that sense because, you know, the whole movie pretty much takes place at night. So you're working from 5 p.m. till 5 a.m. just running down the streets over and over again, trying to look scared. Um, so it's kind of exhausting, but it's fun. They're coming. Just remember all the good the purge does.